now session uh we're gonna be talking about beaches today and the coronavirus uh first we're gonna have the latest uh, numbers on what we're seeing in florida for the coronavirus so bay county has two new cases bringing the total to 70. Uh, calhoun county has six cases uh, franklin and liberty uh, two cases apiece gulf county remains with a single case holmes county has nine jackson county has a total of 13 cases uh, Walton County is reporting 35 cases, and Washington County is at 12. Uh, Florida overall has more than 32,000 confirmed cases and more than 1,100 deaths. Uh, beaches across the Panhandle have slowly started to reopen after closing late last month to help stop the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. Mexico Beach, Panama City Beach, Gulf County, uh, all open for limited hours and limited use. In most cases, this means a few hours in the morning and a few hours near sunset. Visitors can fish, walk, exercise, and swim and surf, but are asked to stay in groups less than 10, and depending on the beach, they can't bring chairs or blankets to lay out. Uh, as beaches in Bay County reopen, uh, we're Lot, we're starting to see how law enforcement deals with that and how they're dealing with people on the beach. Uh, and so News 13's Erica Orsted uh, went out uh, to see how that's going. 8.55 a.m. on a beautiful Saturday morning, beachgoers are packing up their chairs. And in just 10 minutes, the sand is free of towels and surfboards. No one wants to ruin it for everybody else, so they're trying to enjoy their time and getting off the beach so we can keep it open for everybody. The Bay County Sheriff's Office says so far there have been no issues enforcing the new guidelines on Bay County beaches. In Panama City Beach, Police Chief Drew Whitman says the same. I think the locals are just trying to keep it quiet so they can enjoy it. They don't want to ruin it for everybody else. However, he says they'll do what they have to do to enforce the rules. Those who choose not to follow the guidelines could face a hefty $500 fine or even arrest, although no arrests have been made as of Saturday afternoon. We don't want to arrest anybody. We'll make sure that people adhere to the social distance and they have a good time and they don't ruin it for everybody else. Whitman says he hopes people continue to do their best to practice social distancing while also enjoying the fresh air. We want to make sure people have a release so they can get out and enjoy their time and spend some time with their family and get out of the house for a while. In Bay County, Erica Orstad, News 13, Panhandle Strong. At 8.55 a.m. on a beautiful Saturday morning, beachgoers are packing up their chairs. And in just 10 minutes, the sand is free of towels and surfboards. No one wants to ruin it for everybody else, so they're trying to enjoy their time and getting off the beach so we can keep it open for everybody. The Bay County Sheriff's Office says so far there have been no issues enforcing the new guidelines on Bay County beaches. In Panama City Beach, Police Chief Drew Whitman says the same. I think the locals are just trying to keep it quiet so they can enjoy it. They don't want to ruin it for everybody else. However, he says they'll do what they have to do to enforce the rules. Those who choose not to follow the guidelines could face a hefty $500 fine or even arrest, although no arrests have been made as of Saturday afternoon. We don't want to arrest anybody. But we'll make sure that people adhere to the social distance and they have a good time and they don't ruin it for everybody else. Whitman says he hopes people continue to do their best to practice social distancing while also enjoying the fresh air. We want to make sure people have a release so they can get out and enjoy their time and spend some time with their family and get out of the house for a while. In Bay County, Erica Orstad, News 13, Panhandle Strong. At 8.55 a.m. on a beautiful Saturday Although the governor's stay-at-home order remains in place through Thursday night, uh, the Panama City Beach City Council will hold a special meeting on Thursday morning to discuss reopening the beaches with unrestricted hours. We've just seen Walton County do this, uh, so we're going to find out what the beach does Thursday. Uh, Emma Stamps uh, talked to the Beach City Council about how they're going to make their decision. With a renewal needed to extend the current restricted beach hours order, the city council says its next order could be the unrestricted reopening of the beach. We had a good weekend, so I do see that there's an opportunity 
forced to do the right thing, but have a good conversation when we do that. Mayor Mark Sheldon said the council does not want visitors to come to town. However, with just the restricted... County today, the commissioners met. Uh, they unanimously decided to reopen the beaches. Uh, News 13's Kayla Tucker was at the meeting, and Kayla's with us now. Kayla, how you doing? You know, Brady, that meeting was very long, so I'm just happy to be for it to be done, and a decision has been made. Uh, what did they uh, What did they decide, and and how did they come to the decision they made? Well, the commissioners talked for about an hour and a half discussing whether or not they should open the beaches and what restrictions would be in place if they did. And after even having a break in between, they voted unanimously to open the beaches here in Walton County without time restriction. But there are restrictions on what activities you can do while at the beach. What are those restrictions? Uh, well, right now, they have only really excluded sunbathing, so they don't want anyone laying out on the beach on a towel or on the sand specifically. But you can be walking, jogging, running, kayaking, boating, surfing, um, really anything, fishing that'll keep you moving and not just sitting in one place. But there was some controversy between uh, people that called in considering the commissioners have not voted against and they're still allowing chairs and umbrellas and tents to be brought out onto the beach. There won't be any vendors selling and, and renting those out, but as a person yourself, you can bring your own property down. And a lot of residents that called in were saying, this doesn't make sense, I can sunbathe in a chair, but the commissioners are defining that as being out on the sand or laying on a towel. So a lot of people were really upset about that, but that's really the only restriction that they have put in place is that you cannot be physically on the sand. But if you're a mom who has kids that wants to play on the beach, you can come out and you can sit in a chair and watch your kids play and that's fully okay. Um, what was the discussion like back and forth amongst uh, the people who participated in the meeting? Were, were most people for reopening the beaches or did you have a mixture of people who were for or against it? What was the what was that discussion like? Um, really what I heard, it was uh, it was a good mix of both. A lot of people were saying open the beaches, it needs to happen. A lot of people were saying it's just too soon. And if you're opening it, even with the time without the time restrictions, it's going to and encourage people to come down here. There were even callers from other states saying, you know, I'm coming down in two weeks. I need to know if the beach is going to be open. So I think a lot of people that were calling in saying, you know, money can wait. It's just more of let's make sure that this does not hit us. Because Walton County, even though they started out kind of getting cases fast, they only have 35. So with that being somewhat low number, and to compare that to Bay County, they have 30 less, and they got a case before Bay County even got a case. So I think a lot of residents just want to make sure that they keep the coronavirus under control here in this county, but they understand the beaches need to be open. They're just really conflicted on having no time restrictions, and I think that they're worried a lot of people are going to come down here, especially if Governor Ron DeSantis doesn't extend that order that prohibits vacation rentals. There's nothing stopping tourists from coming down here as early as Friday. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Kayla, thanks for covering that meeting for us. I know you're going to have a lot more tonight uh, at 5 and 6. We're going to have a lot online about this. So if you've got questions, you know, share them with us on our Facebook page. We'll see if we can get them answered for you. And uh, we will uh, just keep covering this. Again, they voted to reopen the beaches in Walton County, uh, but that, that uh, doesn't happen until Friday, May 1st. And then Thursday morning, Panama City Beach City Council is expected to vote on, uh, they've already sort of partially reopened the beaches, but now they're going to uh, maybe do much more than that. So we'll keep you up to date with everything, and uh, we will just uh, see you next time. Thanks for joining us.